Many of you must be at wit's end to understand why you are bald when no one in your family tree has ever been bald. I can't be losing hair due to genetics doctor. No one in my family is bald. It's a common refrain, a sob story. And yet science has a different way, has a different story to tell to explain this conundrum. The conundrum we find ourselves in. The truth about hair loss is far more complex than just family history. The answer lies in the fascinating interplay between genetics on one hand and a powerful mechanism called epigenetics on another. If you're frustrated, if you're confused about your unexpected hair loss, this article is going to unravel that mystery and stay on. Genetic traits do not express themselves in all individuals. Some can remain dormant, hidden like a time bomb, waiting for the right trigger in the environment. And in the case of androgenic alopecia, the most common cause of hair loss, the genes responsible for follicular miniaturization may exist within your DNA even if they never visibly impacted your father or even higher up in the family tree or even the side branches. Epigenetics or the science how environmental factors influence genetics offers a more nuanced explanation. While your genetic code remains the same throughout your life, epigenetic markers can switch certain genes on or off.